Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, What's teacher. How's Good everything, everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Tell me. Is everything okay? Yeah. A little hard okay. in the work. Okay. Good. What about the rest? But fine. Hello? Okay, um, it's great to be with you, everybody. Mm. We're going to begin with the session. This is session number four. I'm going to pass the attendance before uh, to start. Please remember, once you listen to your name, say first. Let's begin. Alberto Espinosa. Alberto Espinosa. Okay, he's here. I can see him. I guess I can see him. Good. Ana Francisca. Francisca. Okay. Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. Yeah. Aston de San Diaz. Astrid Lorena Muñoz. Present teacher. Bessie Avalos. Present. Thanks. Bessie Flores. Here, okay. Peter Martinez. Martinez. Cesar Arriola. Hmm, okay. Claudia Ramos. Present. Okay. Alida Galicia. I'm here. Present teacher. Oh, okay, so. Elmi Peña. Present teacher. Ernesto García. Present teacher. Yeah. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Yeah. Gerson Rodríguez. Present teacher. Yeah. El Elina Linares. Present teacher. Liana Alvarado. Here. Ivan Patris. Here. Jennifer Mangandi. Thank you. Joanna Navarro. Joanna Navarro. Is here. Good. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Yeah. Okay. Variantes. Present okay. teacher. Okay. Jose Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Yeah. Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Arbayo. Present teacher. Karen and Hubert. Karen and Hubert. Right here. Okay. Okay, now let's go with Karen Flores. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, Karen Renata dijo ahorita. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. I am here. Good. Carla Granados. Okay. 
Final analysis. Right here. Okay. Let's continue. Let's go with Carla Patricia Rivera. Thank you. And Carla Stephanie Rosa Urrutia. Right here. Okay. Alguien no ha mencionado? ¿Qué pasa no lista? Good evening. Yo. Ana Francisca, right? Present teacher. Sí, uh, tenía problemas Ivana. con la aplicación. Okay, no more, no more. Joana, Iván. Okay. Alberto Espinosa que está entrando y saliendo ahorita. Okay, Alberto Espinosa, good. Se puede hablar. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. Right. Eh, ah, yo tuve problemas también de conexión. Okay, no worries, no worries. All right, right now I have 22. 22. Me too, teacher. Johanna, right? Yes. Good, it's okay. No se preocupe, si hay problemas de conexión, lo que estoy verificando yo también en, en, Thank you. en la lista que tengo acá de participantes, es el 22, vuelve a pasar lista final, ok? No se preocupe. Oh, uh, please switch on the camera. I'm going to take a screenshot, please. Everybody. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot, please. Everybody smile. I'm going to see you, one, two, three. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's continue. Well, now oh, yes, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, good evening, one more time. Let's begin with this session number four. Let me display the presentation for you. A second. Looking for that. Second. Okay, this is session number four. Today we're going to move on and we're going to start with the second section. Second section. Okay, and today we finished with the first week because this is session number four. Remember that we go, well, in the real, uh, let's say form, in the real scenario, we go from Monday to Thursday. But in this case, because of the vacation, it changes. We're going to begin with the second section and we're going to finish with, with the first week. Let's go. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Good, thank you. Let's begin. This is, well, today is Wednesday, April 7, 2021. This is session number four, like I said before. Today, we're going to finish with the first week and we're going to start with the second section. The topic for today is have, plus now, feel, plus adjective, and feel homesick, okay? We're going to start with this topic today. And I'm going to go on, but first, first, I'm going to go to the platform. The platform. We're going to, one second. Okay, in the platform, we're going to watch a video. Yes, we're going to,
Okay. Un segundo. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to go to the following form. In the platform, we're going to identify, oops, we're going to include the video sound. Okay, we're going to go to this part. We're going to identify some vocabulary related to body parts. That is the first thing that we're going to do. This is in your manual. Okay, we're going to identify parts of the body, parts of the body. I'm going to play this video. We're going to identify the vocabulary related to parts of the body. And then we're going to move on to the following part. Please, I want you to take notes in your notebooks, identify this vocabulary. These are parts of the body. Uh, I want to know if you can listen to the video. I want to play it and let me know if you can watch it and listen to it. Let's go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we go again. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye, ear, nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, Elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, nice. As the speaker said, well, before to say that, what parts of the body do you know? Tell me. What parts of the body do you know? Parts of the body. Tell me. Head, for example. Head. Nose. What else? Eyes. Hand. Hand. Hand, yes. Hands. Mouse, mouse, mouth, is it mouth, mouth? Arm. arm, 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 yes, Hi. skin, stomach, 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 yes. elbow, elbow, yes, elbow, back, thumb, thumb, yeah, thumb, this is your thumb, yeah, thumb. Oh. Uh, fingers, fingers, um, wrist, wrist, yeah, wrist, 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 wrist. Have your neck, neck, neck. throat. Again, throat. Ah, yeah, throat, throat. This is your throat, throat. Finger. Fingers, yeah. Fingers, shoulders, shoulders. Um, we have back, back. Yeah, 
back, legs, chest, chest, head, chest, legs, feet, foot, foot, and feet, uh, toes. Uh, what we're talking about? Ears. Put it again. Hair. Hair. Okay, hair. Yes. Hair is another part of the body. Yes. That's a leg. Okay, those are tongue. Parts of tongue. Yeah, tongue. Tongue. Well, you know, when we're talking about our hands, we say fingers. Okay, fingers. When we're referring to our feet, we don't say fingers, we say toes. 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 So in that case, we're referring to that part of the body in our feet. Feet. Fingers, feet, I'm sorry, toes, toes, right? Well, this is an exercise that I want I want you to do on your own. Please, once you watch the video again in the platform, I need you to memorize that vocabulary and you can point your different parts of the body. For example, this is my head, my head, this is my forehead, this is my nose, this is my mouth, these are my eyes, these are my shoulders, this is my arm, these are my hands, my hand, okay, my hands, these are my fingers, these are my ears, but I cannot, because I cannot touch them because I have the, the headset. Uh, what else? This is my chin. Yes, etc. Okay, exactly. That is a way we can memorize, we can learn the vocabulary. Okay, that is the first part. You know, we are just reviewing, we're learning body parts. Body parts. I'm going to move on to the following part because I'm going to introduce the topic and we're going to use body parts. We're going to refer to something that is called illnesses. Illnesses. But first, because the topic is have plus noun, feel plus an adjective, we're going to talk about that right now. Well, here we have some illnesses. Illnesses, right? Those are some things or some, I would say, um, you know, some things that we can have in our body. In our organism, okay, illnesses. For example, a cold, a cold, cough, cough, fever, 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 or throw, or throw. You have to chew some candies because they have sore throat. Headache, headache, stomachache. Good. Stomachache is because you eat something that it was disgusting, for example. Stomachache. Took egg, took egg, took egg. Eric, Eric, and Eric, and Eric. Eric. And we have Eric. another one which is a cramp. A cramp. 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 A cramp is, um, you know, this is a, um, can I say this? This is something that you suffer in your muscles, okay? in your legs, Calambre. in your arms, exactly. That's the way in Spanish, calambres, cramps, okay? Cramp. okay? Let's begin with this, illnesses. And as you can see, we relate the body parts. Headache, took ache, Stomachache, an earic, an earic, a cramp, cold, cold, a cough, a cough, a cough, I can say cough, right? All throw, your throw, all throw, better. Those are some illnesses. Okay? Any questions?
questions about these illnesses? Teacher. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Sure. What is the what is the difference in a cold and a coach? Oh, okay. A cold is when you have some different symptoms. For example, you have a congest congestion in your nose, okay? Or probably you can have a fever when you have a cold. Cold is similar to flu. Flu, okay? That is another one. Flu. Oh, flu. The flu. Okay. Similar to cold, you have congestion, in some cases you have sore throat, and then, so you have that combination. And a cough, <clears throat> that's cough, okay. that's cough, that is the difference. Here. Somebody else, questions? Okay, repeat after me, listen to me and repeat after me. A call, a call, a call, a call, a call, a call. Yes, next, a call, a call, a call, a call, a call, a call, Next, a call, a fever, fever, a fever, a fever, a fever. Fever. Next. Fever. Sore throat. 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 Next. Headache. A headache. 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 Next. Stomach. 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 Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes. Stomach ache. Next, tooth ache. 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 Tooth Cramp. Okay. okay, how we express how we feel, how we feel, and that's what we have on the following slide. Well, we use the following structures have plus a noun or feel plus an adjective to talk about our physical or mental condition, okay? First, we have feel, it's an adjective. And we have some, a variety of adjectives that we can use. And we express how we feel, how we feel. For example, how we, feel. we have fat, bad, Horrible, awful, terrible, miserable, terrible. One time, sad, bad, horrible, awful, terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, those are some bad adjectives, let's say. On the other hand, we have some good adjectives. Good, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Okay? And we have some questions. How are you? Or how do you feel? We follow that structure. Subject, as feel, which is a verb, and the adjective. We say, I feel sad. Peter. Yeah, tell me. Excuse me, why um, sometimes use the people I am happy with verb to be? 
Oh, that is not possibility. We can say or we can express feelings with a verb be. When you say, I am happy, I am sad, I am great. That is another way to express feelings, emotion. And we can say, I feel happy, I feel sad. I feel terrific. I feel there are similar. Good. Similar, yeah. That is not a possibility to say how you feel. How you feel. Okay. And that's why we have those two questions. How are you? How are you guys? Great. I'm excellent. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm awful. I'm tired. On the other hand, how do you feel? I feel happy, I feel horrible, I feel fantastic, etc. That is the way Teacher. we express feelings. Yes, come here. Teacher, so depends the question. Yeah, it depends on the question, but you know, uh, in some cases, uh, people tend to ask you, how do you feel? How do you feel today? You can say, I am great. You can vary, you can vary, yeah. If someone asks you, because you're going to listen to this, you're going to listen to this in real scenarios. How are you? I feel happy. People tend to vary. People tend to vary those answers. Okay? So it's up to you. It's up to you. But if you want to see it in a grammatical way, how are you? I am happy. I am sad. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel terrific. I feel miserable. Okay. So if you want to see it in a grammatical way, yeah, you have to. We, we use the questions in the proper way. Okay. That is with the first structure, first construction. And well, we have the examples in there. I feel sad. She feels good. We feel Terrible, etc. So it depends. All right? Questions so far? Preguntas en seca? The first form? First form? Preguntas, dudas? Okay, on the other hand, the other construction or the other structure is have plus a noun. And here we use the illnesses, headache, stomachache, fever, a cramp, a cold, etc. Let's go to that part. We have the structure have plus a noun. We don't have a, a, an adjective in this case. We have a noun. And what are those nouns? We have different nouns in here. And we have those illnesses, health problems, right? For illnesses. The flu, for example, stomachache, headache, fever, constipation, diarrhea, an ear, earache, earache, backache, backache, cake, dry eyes, a sore throat, and a cold. Those are nouns. Those are not adjectives. Those are not adjectives. Those are nouns. That is the structure. Okay. When we say, oh, subject plus half in a noun, which is the illness. Okay. When we say, I have a fever. I have a fever. I have a headache. I have a headache. She has a stomachache. She has a stomachache. The other one, we have the flu. We have the flu. Okay. So we're expressing in this case illnesses or health problems. That is the way we express those, you know, illnesses, 
And of course, we have some questions like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Or what's the matter? What's the matter? And if someone asks you, what's the matter? I'm heavy. What's wrong? What's wrong? I have the flu. I have the flu. Okay? So we follow those questions. Follow those questions. All right? And this is where we express illnesses, health problems. All right? Any questions? Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Vamos, vamos. ¿Qué dudas? Preguntemos. No question. ¿Qué? No question. Muy bien, muy bien. Ok, how we express or how we combine the two structures. It's simple. For example, imagine a short conversation. Someone asks you, feel today. And someone can tell you, I feel terrible. I have a headache. I have a headache. You can see we're combining the two structure. I feel terrible. I have a headache. How do you feel today? I feel terrible. I have a headache. Okay. That is a way we can combine the two constructions. Right? In a conversation, in a real setting, right? Okay? Let me give you more examples, for example. Okay, well, you can see the pictures as a headache, as a headache, and the boy or the man feels terrific. Terrific, terrific, it's another way to say fantastic. Okay, it's another synonym. He feels fantastic, or he feels terrific. Okay, but as a way we express, you know, our physical or mental condition. Okay, questions so far. Questions. Vamos muy bien por acá. Okay, let's go to the other example. Well, here we have a conversation, okay? But listen, I want you to write right now in your notebook, your notebook, three, three sentences, okay? For example, for example, I have a sore throat. Have a sore throat. My father has a backache, and my sister feels happy. Please, in your notebooks, write three examples. Three examples. You can include your family members, your friends, etc. Let's go. Three examples. I will give you some time. Let's go. Three examples. Three sentences near numbers. Let's just give it three sort of sentences. Examples. Questions?
teacher pronunci pronunciation de fiebre fever pronunciación fever 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 I have a fever voy a mencionar en lo que estamos viendo las oraciones voy a mencionar a lo que no bueno pasalice no no me respondieron no sé si que tenía el problema o no se había venido hasta los tres días. Bueno, no sé. ¿Ves si Marisol Flores? Present teacher. ¿Qué? Sí, he tenido problemas de internet. Oh. Perdón. No, no, no. Thank you. César Martínez. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you, Sister Ariela, for letting me know. Let's go with Ileana Alvarado. No, okay. Got him in here? Got him in here? No. Carla Rosa? Carla Rosa? No. Perfect. Well, I can give me some examples. Who's ready? Who's ready? Who can give me some examples? Ready? Remember, you are supposed to say three examples. Three examples about physical or mental condition. I feel horrible. My father has a backache. My friend has headache, etc. Tell me. Volunteers. Jose Oriente is good. Tell us your three examples, please. And then Joanna. Uh, okay, my three examples are uh, I have a bad cake today. Yeah. My girlfriend has a bella cake. Dolor de vientre, bella cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can my say my girlfriend uh, has a bella cake. No. In that case, really. Can say belly, belly pain. Belly, belly pain. pain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My belly my pain. girlfriend has a belly pain. Uh, okay. I feel tired. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue. Let's go with Johanna and then Jose Mariano. I'm sorry, Jose Rodriguez. Then Ana Francisca. Uh, I have a Thomas cake. Uh, my brother has a soup cake and my son has fever. Okay, good. Repeat it for me one more time. Headache. Headache. Joanna, headache. Come on. Repeat it for me. Headache. Headache. Yes. Good. Thank you, Joanna. Headache. Yes. Let's go with Jose Rodriguez and then Ana Francisca. Okay. Uh, he has dry eggs. I feel good. Do you have a fever? Yeah. Good. Thank you. 
I'll read the examples that Basie shared in the chat. I have a fever. My husband feels, remember? Basie feels. Feels terrible because it's the third person. Okay. He. He. And the other one, I have a cold. Yes. Yeah, because in this case, we're talking about the third person. He. My husband feels higher. Feels. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Go with Ana Francisca and then Carla Rivera. Okay, I feel happy. My son has a sore throat. My daughter feels tired. Good. Thank you, Anna. A bit for me, Anna. Okay. Sore, sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. Sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you too. Let's go with Carla Rivera. I have a headache. My sister feels terribly. My singer feels good. Okay, repeat the last one, please. Can I repeat the last one? My singer, no. ¿cómo se dice hija, perdón? Hija. Oh, okay, good. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. Okay. Daughter. My daughter feel good. Okay. good. My daughter feel good. Feels good. Thank you. Feels good. Feel? Feels. Feels. Feels good. Yes. Good. Thank you, Gabby. Somebody else? Other participant? Um, yes, yeah, let's go. I feel awful. Yeah, I feel awful. I have diarrhea. My friends feel great. My uncle feels horrible. He have back pain. Okay, yes. Good, thank you. Back pain. I will listen to Claudia. Claudia, please give us your example. Okay, I have a cramp. My sister has a stomach. Creo que sí se pronunciaba, ¿verdad? No worry, repeat it for me. Stomach. Uh, my brother. Stomach. Stomach. Uh, okay, yeah. My sister has a stomach. My brother feels fine. My brother, son? Feels fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. My brother feels. All right, good. <laughs> Let's go with Jorge Espinosa. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what is uh, I have a fever. My brother has a headache. Uh, my sister has a cold has a cold okay my sister has a cold excellent thank you i will listen to jennifer mangandy please give us your three examples um okay uh but i have a question uh i don't know how can pronounce back back tip the word is Oh, backache, 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 backache. Backache. Uh, this is my example. Um, I have a backache. 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 Uh, my mom has a, my mom has a flu and headache, and my dad, my dad feel, feel, feel good. Okay. Good. Thank you, Jennifer. That is something that uh, caught my attention about Jennifer's example. You can have combinations, right? You can have different illnesses at the same time, you know, it happens. Like I have a head, have a cold and headache. 
So it happens. We can have different illnesses uh, at the same time. And that's awful. That's awful. Right? Or I have, I don't know, I have a stomach ache and a headache. Right? So it happens. Good. Thank you, Jennifer. I will listen to Vicky and Sia. Vicky? Here. Okay, I will listen to somebody else. Let's go with Stephanie. Please give us your three examples. Okay. I have a fear. He feels sad. My sister feels happy. Good. Thank you. Mom, can you give us your examples? Um, I feel tired and my sister feels happy. My father has a headache. Yeah. Good, thank you. And Alberto, don't worry. Thank you for letting me know. It's a pleasure to have you in the session. You were having some issues, right? No se preocupe. Que tenía, bueno, algunos tenían problemas con la conexión ahorita. No se preocupen. Eh, conectémonos. Eh, estamos listos. Y solo recuerden que al final, pues, eh, presentan muchos problemas con la conexión, etc. Podemos ver después la, el video. Para o sea, siempre se están subiendo al canal de YouTube. Que podemos verificar los de ahí. En caso nos perdimos de alguna parte de, de la clase. Podemos verificarlo luego. No se preocupe. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, um, let's go with another person. I now will select Karen Carvalho. Can you give us your example, please? I have a headache. My mother has a fever. Uh, my sister feels fantastic. Yes, awesome. Thank you. Okay, listen up. Before to go to the last part, just the conversation, we're going to practice one more time the vocabulary because I need to listen and repeat. Okay, the, the vocabulary. Let's go again. Listen to me and repeat. Cold. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cold. Yes. Next, a cough. A cough. A cough. Yes. Next, a fever. A fever. A fever. Fever. Next, a sore throat. Sore throat. A sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yes. Headache. 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 Ear ache. Ear ache. Ear ache. And ear the last ache. one is a cramp. A cramp. 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 A cramp. 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 Yes. Cramp. Yeah. Cramp. Okay. Listen up. We're going to go to the last form. And we're going to practice with the following conversation. What I want to do, please pay attention to the conversation. We're going to use this you know, physical or mental conditions in a real setting, real scenario, okay? Listen up, uh, in parentheses, or in the different colors, I have highlighted those words, uh, and we're expressing, you know, feelings, we're expressing, like I said before, physical or mental conditions. We're going to change that information, yeah, 
we're going to have this example, this sample, and we're going to provide our own information. Okay. This is a conversation between Fernando and Sara. And they're asking about how they feel. Listen, listen to me, and then I will have some volunteers. Let's go. Uh, how do you feel today, Sara? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. But this is a short conversation and this is the way we express you know, our feelings, how we feel in our mental, as we said before, our mental or physical conditions, okay? Well, I will have some volunteers for the conversation and you're going to follow this conversation and you can change the information, okay? I, I underline those specific adjectives or now. Okay, volunteers, conversation. Volunteers. Eh, me, Bessie. Bessie, teacher. And, Kelly, right? Karen. Oh, Karen. Karen, okay. Listen, I will go with Bessie and Karen first, and then I will have Claudia. Maria, good. Hey, listen, Pessy, you're going to start with the conversation and Karen, you will continue, okay? Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Let's go. How do you, how do you feel today, Sarah? I feel great, thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomachache. I'm sorry to hear that. How did you feel better? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Let's go with Claudia and I will select Ivan. No, yo la pago. Ivan? Can you hear me, Ivan? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Ivan, you will be Fernando and Claudia will be Sara. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, how do you feel today, Sara? I feel great, thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomach, stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. How do you feel better? Thanks a lot. Good, thank you. Can you see it? I will go with another participant. Oh, okay. Tell me, please, help me out. We're going to perform the conversation. Listen, tell me. We're going to change information. Okay, so you have to tell me how you feel today. Okay. Imagine that you have, well, in this case, I'm, I'm going to be for now. Okay, you'll be sad. You'll be sad. Okay, tell me, ready? How do you, let's begin. One, two, really heard that. How do you feel today, Delmi? How do you feel today, Sara? Okay. Listen, one more time. One more time. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I will be Fernando. Tell me you will be Sara. Okay. Let's go again. One, two, okay. three. How do you feel today, Delmi? I feel great, thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel awful. I have a terrible headache. I'm sorry, Per, that hope to feel better. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good, thank you. Let's go with another pair. Dalida, please help me. Dalida and Ernesto. Oh, I have more volunteers. Okay. Then I will select Jose Barrientos and Ana Francisca. Okay. Let's go with Dalida and Ernesto. Ernesto, you will be Fernando, and Dalida, you will be Sara. Ready? 
One, two, Ready. three. Let's go. How do you feel? How do you feel today, Sarah? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. I am sorry to hear that. How do you feel better? Thanks a lot. Good, yeah, thank you. Let's go with Jose Barrientos and Ana Francisca, please. Come Jose Barrientos, you're going to begin. Okay. It will be Fernando and Ana Francisca, it will be Sara. Ready? Let's go. Okay, okay. How do you feel today, Ana Francisca? I feel very thin. What about you, Fernando? Oh, I feel bad. I have a back pain. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks for that. Excellent. Thank you too. Thank you. I will go with Alberto and Bessie Avalos. Alberto, you will be Fernando. Bessie, you will be Sara. Ready? Let's go. Let's begin. Okay. How do you feel today, Sara? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomachache. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Thank you. I will go with Astrid Munoz and Jose Rodriguez. Please give me a hand. Say it will be Fernando. Astrid, you will be Sara. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go on the come of three. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. You'll be Fernando, sir. Okay. Let's go. Uh, how do how do you feel today, Sarah? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel the real Terrible. I have a stomach. A I'm stomach sorry. Ache. I'm sorry to, to hear that. Hope you feel better. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, as you said, uh, Jose, stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yeah. Stomach ache. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I will go with Harrison and Karen Carvalho, please. Harrison, you will be Fernando and Karen, you will be Sarah. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay. How do you feel today, Sarah? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Yeah, good. That's the way. Let's see. Uh, Cesar Aviola, can you help us use a microphone? No. You know, please let me know in the chat. Or you saw the microphone, Cesar? Yes, Cesar, over in the chat, please. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to select somebody else. I think, okay, okay, Cesar, don't worry about it. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Let's go with Jorge, Espinosa, and Elena. Jorge, you will be Fernando, and Elena, you will be Sara. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Who do you be, Sara? I feel happy. Thanks. What about you? Fernando. Fernando. I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. I am sorry to hear that. How do you feel better? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let's see. We're missing Jose Portillo and 
Carla Rivera, yeah. You raise your hand. Say it will be Fernando and Carla, you will be Sarah. When it comes to it, one, two, three. Jen. Okay. Hi, Carla. How do you feel today? I feel great. Then, what are you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomachache. I'm sorry to have the. How do you feel better? Thanks a lot. Excellent. So, oh, listen, guys. Um, any questions about the conversation and in general? Preguntas in general? I have a question, teacher. Sure, tell me. Is that correct if I change the, for example, uh, I have a stomachache, I feel bad. Is that correct? If I say, yeah, um, yeah, change you can. You can say at the beginning, uh -huh. I, I feel bad, I have a stomachache. Or you can say, I have a stomachache, and then you say, I feel bad. But I it's more, bad. Uh, but, but it's not more normal to say, I feel better, I have a, a good sensation, for example. Mm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel better. I. I feel be, uh, awful. Well, oh, I, I feel I feel I feel better. I have a. You can say probably a negative. I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't have. I don't, I don't have, have a headache. A headache. A headache yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because you you took some medicine. You took some mm -hmm. aspirin, for example, and mm -hmm. you don't feel bad. Okay. Okay. Yes. That is okay. the way. Good. Okay. Okay. Here. Anybody else question? Is everything here? Must be. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Eh, mañana no me podré conectar porque tengo exámenes de la universidad a las nueve. Hmm. Okay. I understand. Um, bueno, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, entiendo. Solo recuerden de, de, de mantener siempre la, la asistencia, eso es lo que quería decirles ahorita, antes de finalizar, ya sé que es hora. Solo recordarles acerca de, de la asistencia, mantener el 70% uh, durante lo que resta de, del módulo, curso. Y lo otro es con respecto a la plataforma. Estamos tratando, recuerden que podemos avanzar. Queremos ir a, al mismo ritmo, es decir, a, según los temas que vamos, vayamos viendo, vamos a ir paso a paso, despacito. Ah, claro, pueden hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. Queremos avanzar, se puede también, no hay ningún problema. Es que Recuerden, si hay algún problema con la plataforma, díganme con tiempo. Me pueden decir aquí en la sesión, me pueden contactar con el profesional o hacer un video. Okay, no hay ningún problema. Vamos completando. Recuerden, esta, bueno, ese día terminamos con la semana 1, según el orden que llevamos de lunes a jueves, pero como se, se distorsionó todo, se corrió la ocasión, ahora terminamos la semana 1 también, en la sesión 4. Mañana iniciamos la semana 2 y terminaríamos la otra semana. La otra semana, si no me equivoco, el miércoles haríamos el meter. Recuerden que en la semana hacemos el meter. Y un día antes, martes, les voy a. Vamos a revisarlo así rapidito con respecto a las instrucciones, qué debemos de hacer para que ustedes tengan el tanto. Uh, obviamente no lo vamos a hacer en la sesión. Solo vamos a leer las instrucciones y para que ustedes estén, o si tienen alguna duda, me, me, me consulten ese día. Uh, por supuesto, cada quien va a trabajar de forma individual, no se va a hacer en la clase. Okay. Va a ser la próxima semana. Mañana iniciamos la, la semana 2. Okay. Sí, la, la primera sesión de la semana 2, digámoslo así. Y pues con los demás, estamos bien. 
No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta con algo. No. It's all fine. Ok. Bueno, antes de irnos, solo quiero, nuevamente, no voy a pasar toda la lista, de que solamente voy a mencionar a los que no están en, según mi lista, los que no están presentes. Si alguien se me ha escapado, hasta les el día, si lo ves. Esta Martínez. Liliana Alvarado. No. Karen Mengiva. Carla Granados. Y Carla Rosa. Okay. Okay, um, bueno, preguntas. Everything good? Well, everybody, this is all for today. We're going to start right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good night. Uh, blessings, many blessings to you and your families. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.